Hello all, this video is on accessing your ESP server over internet from anywhere in the world. Complete IoT setup is explained. Starting a server on ESP, making the ISP of uh, ESP server static, port forwarding, Windows firewall setting, and most important of all, making your uh, public IP static using no IP account. Everything is explained in this single video. Before starting a server on ESP8266, Confirm that your ESP is already linked to the inter internet network. You can check it with this AT plus CW JAP command. AT plus CIFSR will reveal the IP address allotted to the ESP module. Here the ESP uh, IP address is 192.168.1.4. First let us change this IP and make it static so that the IP address is always the same say 192.168.1.10 we'll change this IP address and make it static for this type in the routers gateway IP in your browser and log in to your uh, router setting my gateway IP is 192.168.1.1 under setup LAN you can see the DHCP settings here my uh, router's gateway IP is 192.168.1.1 and the IP range it allots to its clients is from uh, 192.168.2 to 254. The interface will vary depending on your router's model but generally the settings are same. Click on DHCP static and then feed in the IP you want to make static to ESP module. 192.168.1.10 and then you have to provide the MAC address the MAC address can be uh, copied from the AT plus CIFSR result control C to copy and then control uh, V to paste the MAC address should not contain any special characters so delete the co any colons and then click add Now the ESP's IP is set as 192.168.1.10 and the router will always reserve this IP to ESP module. Next is the port forwarding setting. We are going to start a server on port 350 on ESP. Any incoming request to this port has to be forwarded to the ESP's IP 192.168.1.10. To do this, click advanced NAT and then virtual server most of the servers have this setting under virtual server fill in the WAN and LAN port number as uh, 350 protocol is TCP and then feed in the static IP of ESP under LAN address click on apply and you are done with port forwarding Any incoming request will be port forwarded to the IP address of the ESP. Click on apply. Port forwarding is done now. Next step is to allow this port uh, 350 for communication under Windows firewall settings. Open the Windows firewall settings. Click inward rules and then click on new rule. Select on port and then TCP and then specify the port as 350 allow the connection provide a name and then save it to start a server on ESP first issue the command AT plus CIP max equal to 1 then server is started on port 350 using the command AT plus CIP server equal to 1 comma 350 now the ESP server starts listening on port 350. The external world will uh, contact this server using your public IP address. To know your network's public IP, type in what is my IP on your browser. This public IP is dynamic for uh, most of the home networks. Uh, that is it keep changing on every reboot. To make it static, we shall open an account with no IP. Sign in to your uh, no IP account. Just your email ID is enough to open the account. Click on dynamic DNS and then add host name. 
create a host name with a predefined uh, uh, domain here i am creating a host name test my iot dot ddns dot net this will be the url the rest of the world will use to uh, connect your esp device from anywhere click on uh, device configuration assistant select the host name you created on uh, next page it is uh, test my uh, iot dot ddns dot net on next page select the device type as server and select the device brand as uh, web server and then select your uh, router's name my router is betel and it is not listed so i select other and then uh, feed in the router's type as uh, home there are two types of routers home and office mine is home router click on next step here you will be asked uh, whether your computer is always running on your network for now you select no and then click on your uh, router setting we entered this window by typing 192.168.1.1 in the browser earlier click on service and then ddns check out for no ip entry under the ddns provider most of the routers have this entry let us complete this setting and then see the procedure if you do not see no ip in the drop down host name is the one we created earlier test my iot dot ddns dot net interface is ppoe feed in the email id and the password you used to create no ip account click add to save the domain host name now go back to your no ip setting window click on s where you are asked can you log in to your device now click test connection it will start testing the connection if you see success then you are done with no ip settings let us now see the procedure if your router does not support no ip in the previous uh, window you have to select yes where you are asked if any computer always running on your network now you have to download duc dynamic update client this is needed only if your router does not have no ip as dynamic dns provider install the duc and while finishing you have to allow duc to run on background the duc runs always on background and follows your public ip to update the host name feed in the username and uh, password of your no ip account and uh, sign in this account again select the host name you created earlier and then click on save now the duc will follow your public ip now let us access the esp server from a distant pc on the distant pc open a putty window click on raw and then feed in the public ip of esp server network port is 350 once you click open on putty window here at the esp window you see connect it means a cl client is connected to the esp server feed in some message in the distant putty window you get the message back in the esp here to 
send message from ESP, use the uh, command AT plus CAP send equal to 0, 10. Here 0 is the channel where uh, connection is established and 10 is the number of characters we wish to send. So two-way communication is established between the client and the server. Server is ESP and uh, client is the distant uh, PC where PuTTY is open. Now let us use the domain host name we created instead of the public IP. In the PuTTY window, feed in the uh, domain name testmyiot.ddns.net instead of uh, public IP you feed in the domain name testmyiot.ddns.net and then feed in the port as 350 click on open you can see the connection established so this is how you can contact the server using the domain host name testmyiot.ddns.net you need not use the public IP only the domain host name is enough to contact the server thank you for watching